Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to go through a quick breakdown of the new features that were just added to Darkroom Booth 2024. So let's go ahead and jump right into my computer and see what we're talking about. Okay, so the first thing that we'll notice is uh, the splash screen now says Darkroom Booth 2024. And that's really just so we can identify what version or closer to what version you're on to help identify issues whenever we're helping. And we want to make sure that we're trying to stay as up to date as possible. So that's the main reason for that. The next thing that we're going to look at is the new batch delete option for old events. So let's say I had a few events that I was looking to get rid of. If I right click on events, it's kind of a hidden option because we don't want everybody just deleting a whole bunch of stuff all the time. Um, and accidentally deleting something that's not uh, something they is something that they didn't intend to. But if I right click on events and go to remove events, I can then go through check the different options that I want to uh, remove, and then I'm going to click delete, and then yes, and then it'll ask you to type in the word delete. And I know a lot of you are saying, well, that's kind of extra but it's because we put in all these safeguards to make sure nobody accidentally deletes something that they truly intend to delete those events so we'll click OK and we can see that this will start updating and removing some of those extra events the next thing that you may have noticed is that we have three tabs originals had already been there or I think it was called photos so we have the original images and what's really cool about this I have uh, this sample photo video event it now will show videos so if I double click on a photo it'll open my photo and editor if I double click on a video it will play a preview of that video so that's the originals tab the process tab would be replacing the prints tab and we've changed the name because not not only prints go here but also videos so same thing we can double click on this and it would play uh, the output video and from here we can also click the print drop down menu and let's say I wanted to save these two videos I can save them to my desktop from the processed menu and just go ahead and copy the folder and if we look on my desktop there are those two videos okay we'll switch back to booth so that's the new originals and process replacing photos and prints um, third thing we have is the sessions tab and what this allows us to do is let's say we are having an issue at an event where we didn't have internet we can go through and reprocess and resend images to um, what, well we can send it to our printer we can upload it to uh, event gallery we can also resend to email and SMS so that's a, a pretty big uh, requested feature and we'll have a, a video that goes more in depth into uh, the options here but from here you can select your sessions and then redo output and let's say you want to resend the email in this case I didn't send email but uh, for this one right here you can see that it has an icon for a phone and I can resend the uh, event gallery or the phone options and then just click redo and it will retransmit those um, or in this case this was a video so that's the new sessions tab um, it's pretty powerful uh, but that is brand new and uh, we're pretty excited about that you can hear my phone buzzing because I just received this video again because it resent it Okay, the next on our list is, um, this is small, but uh, I think pretty important. Um, the output menu, just like the screens menu, you can now click edit 
and edit the template rather than having to click choose and then uh, I can edit it straight from the output menu so if I want to move anything around um, so we'll create a new template and there's a new option um, for non-math people um, and that struggle with aspect ratio so we'll add a background just to make it look a little prettier okay we're adding our photo and we can now set the aspect ratio so six by four or four by six would be the same aspect ratio from your digital camera um, now if you're using a webcam it would be uh, 9 by 16 but let's say I wanted to go with something a little bit more square so we're gonna go with a 4 by 3 and you'll be able to see that um, now when we uh, make it just a little bit smaller we can see that this is not a 4 by 6 aspect ratio um, it's cutting off a little bit um, where this is going to be helpful is um, you can set your aspect ratio that you want. We're going to cancel out of here and now when we're in our screen template we have the same option so um, let's try to choose something a little simpler. Uh, we'll go with new. Okay so now when we add our live view we have the same option right here. So if I set it to um, four by three, it's gonna keep the same proportion. So now, whenever somebody, uh, what you see on your live view is what you get on your print. But it's important to try to remember your camera shoots in, uh, more than likely it's gonna shoot in four by six as if it's a mirrorless or a DSLR. So rather than like a four by three, I would typically suggest using the six by four and if you're using uh, a vertical screen we also have sizes for vertical and it's keeping that same aspect ratio and the last thing and I think probably the most important especially from tech support uh, side of things is darkroom phone um, you look I have a few different options set up but I don't have a Twilio account Twilio is now built into darkroom booth as long as you have a maintenance plan it's gonna work just like darkroom email and uh, as of right now it we're not um, it's built into the maintenance plan so there's no additional cost in the future if it's being used a little bit more than we expect because we're having actually uh, incur cost with that option that might change but as for right now we're going to try to keep it just as part of the maintenance plan so if i want to use either photo email or photo to phone all i have to do is check those options i don't have to do any setup because darkroom email handles uh sending uh, via the darkroom server and now we are using our own uh, Twilio account to send photo to phone messages so you don't have to go through the process of setting up your own Twilio account. So those two options, photo email has been in there and it's been pretty well received and we decided to try to do the same thing with Twilio and it uh, it's working very well. So those two options are um, included with the maintenance plan. And that is all the features that were just added this week with the new build of Darkroom Booth 2024. There is more stuff coming around the corner. We are working on that. Uh, but for right now, make sure you have your maintenance plan up to date. Install the build. Um, as long as your maintenance, uh, you're still within maintenance, it's a free update. If your maintenance plan has expired, as long as it hasn't been expired for more than a year, then it would be $95 to update uh, to renew your maintenance plan and then you get uh, a year of updates from then and if it's over a year 
that's been expired, you're looking at 195. And it's a good idea to get current because things just work a little bit better whenever you're on a current version. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.